وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Some brothers and sisters they requested from me if I could give them a advice a نصيحة أمر وصية a farewell advice إن شاء الله تعالى what is better and greater than giving an advice from the messenger alayhi salatu wasalam something he said an advice that he gave Al Imam Ahmad rahimahullah he narrated in his musnad and Al Imam Ibn Majah narrated in his sunan min hadith Abi Ayyub al Ansari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu that the noble companion Abu Ayyub al Ansari said Ja'a rajulun ila rasulillahi that a man came to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam and he said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to him, عِذْنِي وَأُوْجِزْ And another riwayah he said, عَلِّمْنِي وَأُوْجِزْ In the first narration he said, عِذْنِي, advise me. وَأُوْجِزْ and summarize your advice. Give me as, as much as you can summarize your advice, O Messenger of Allah, do that for me. And another riwayah he, say, he mentions that he said, عَلِّمْنِي, teach me. And also summarize your speech. Then the Messenger sallallahu advised him by telling him the following. He said to him, He said to him, إِذَا قُمْتَ فِي صَلَاتِكَ فَصَلِّ صَلَاتَ مُوَدِّعٍ That if you stand up and you pray, then make your prayer as though it's the final and last prayer that you're ever going to pray. وَلَا تَكَلَّمْ بِكَلَامٍ تَعْتَذِرُ مِنْهُ غَدَى The Messenger said the second thing is, don't say a speech that tomorrow you're going to regret what you said. And the third advice that he gave alayhi salatu wasalam to him was what? وَأَجْمِعِ الْيَأْسَ مِمَّا فِي يَدِي النَّاسِ The third thing that he said to him was have in your heart, I'm going to gather in your heart, um, I'm going to bring into your heart the attribute and the characteristics of giving up what's in the hands of the people. Meaning be a person whose heart is only in need of Allah and his body is only in need of Allah and that you don't want anything except from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not from the creation. So this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ advised him with three things. al wasiyatul ula Let's look at the first advice. First one is wasiyatun bis salah. The advice was prayer. The Messenger advised him sallallahu alayhi wa this companion who asked for advice, he advised him prayer. And how did he advise him with the prayer? He, may, he told him al to biha that you give a lot of consideration to the prayer and that you pray it in the way that it should be prayed. If a person knows that tomorrow they're going to pass away or they're going to die, and this is the last chance that they have in this world, this salah they're going to make sure that they pray correctly. By doing what? By observing the ruku' and the sujood and the qiyam and the tilawa, the sujood will be correct. The qiyam, the standing, will be correct. The person will do the ruku' in the correct manner. Even the person will recite the Qur'an properly. And the person will come with khushu'. Also that person will observe the timing. And they will pray at its earliest time, and as soon as it comes in, the time that a believer should pray. The person will observe that. So that's the first advice that the Prophet ﷺ gave him. Al-inayatu uh, bis-salah, giving consideration to the prayer and perfecting the way that you establish your prayer. The second advice that he gave him alayhi salatu wasalam was بِحِفْظِ lisan, Protect your tongue. And look at your tongue and look what you say. He said, وَلَا تَكَلَّمْ بِكَلَامٍ Don't say a speech and utter a word تَعْتَذِرُ مِنْهُ غَدًا That tomorrow you have to ask for excuse. You have to ask for people to understand where you are coming from. Don't say something that you're going to regret. Observe your speech in the first place. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa he said to us in another hadith, مَنْ كَانَ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ فَلْيَقُلْ خَيْرًا أَوْ لِيَصْمُتْ 
If you are a person who believes in Allah and the Day of Judgment, then say something good or be silent. Ata ibn Abi Rabah, rahimahullah, he mentions that a person who truly believes in Allah and the Day of Judgment, they should only speak twice, he said. Number one, he said it's matters related to the religion. And the second one is worldly matters which are necessary for you to speak about. And then he read the ayah, مَا يَلْفِضُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ that a person doesn't utter anything or does not say anything except that it's what? Except that it's written for you. It's documented and it will be brought for you the Day of Judgment. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said to the noble companion Mu'adh ibn Jabal, the Prophet said to him, should I not tell you something that will overcome or something that's, that will allow you to have all of that which I mentioned? This is after he told him something. And so he said to him, Bala ya Rasulullah. Of course, O Messenger of Allah, tell me. The Prophet ﷺ, he, the Prophet grabbed his tongue and he said to him, Kufa alayka hadha. Protect yourself from this, uh, your tongue. And then Mu'adh was, sh was shocked. He said, Ya Rasul, Ya Nabi Allah, O Messenger of Allah, are we going to be held accounts for? Be that which we speak. Are we going to be held for the speech that is coming out of our mouth? The Prophet said, Thakhilatka ummuka ya Mu'ad. Mu'ad, may your mother lose you. وَهَلْ يَكُبُّ النَّاسَ فِي النَّارِ عَلَىٰ وُجُوهِهِمْ أَوْ مَنَاخِرِهِمْ إِلَّا حَصَائِدْ أَلْسِنَتِهِمْ The Prophet said, what is it that makes the people go into the hellfire face first? Except that which their tongues have put forward. What is it else that are people going into the hellfire face first? Except that which their tongues have put forward. And then this tongue is a very powerful organ. It can bring about success and it can bring about destruction. Walidalika, the Prophet ﷺ said, every single day that the slave wakes up, every morning, the tongue, the Prophet ﷺ said that the body, sorry, the limbs, they talk to the tongue. And they say to the tongue, Ittaqillaha fina, fear Allah in our affairs. <coughs> that we are you. Fain istaqamta istaqamna. If you are upright and steadfast, then we are all upright and steadfast with you. And if you deviate from the straight path and you go wrong, we also go wrong with you. Because it's true. When the person speaks and says something, after that the fist comes. After that the kicking comes in. And the head and the mind and everything comes with it. But the tongue has to say something first. The body follows. So if the, the tongue is upright and it's steadfast, then the body becomes upright and steadfast as well. So the second advice that the Prophet gave to this companion who asked for advice was what? Hifd al-lisan. Protect your tongue. The poet, he said, Ihfad al-lisanaka ayyuhal insanu la yaldaghannaka innahu thu'banu kam fil maqabiri min qatili lisanihi kana tahabu liqa'ahu shuj'anu. Protect your tongue. And take precautions regarding your tongue. Innahu thu'banu. Your tongue is a snake. La yaldaghannaka. Do not let it bite you. The tongue it's a snake. It's a hidden snake. How many people ended up in the grave because of statements that they said? They got killed for it. The third advice that the Prophet ﷺ gave to this noble companion was وَأَجْمِعِ الْيَأْسَ مِمَّا فِي يَدِ النَّاسِ The Prophet ﷺ called him to a characteristic called Al-Qana'ah. Be a person who's content. وَتَعَلُّقُ الْقَلْبِ بِاللَّهِ وَحَدَهِ Connect your heart to who? Allah alone. Don't have in your heart anyone else. There's no one who can bring you everything. And there's nobody who can bring you what you want except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said in the Quran, Isn't Allah not enough for you? Is Allah not enough for his creation? Allah says in another ayah, وَمَن يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ Anyone who relies on Allah, Allah is enough for them. Allah will give you what you want, what you're looking for. These three advices, the first one being وَصِيَّةٌ بِالصَّلَاةِ وَالْعِنَايَةِ بِهَا وَحُسْنَ أَدَائِهَا The first one being perfecting the prayer and making sure that you observe the prayer and do it in the way that it should be done. The second وَصِيَّةٌ بِحِفْضِ اللِّسَانِ Protecting your tongue and observing that. And the third one being القَنَاعَةِ To be content and to connect your heart to وَتَعَلُّقُ الْقَلْبِ بِاللَّهِ وَحَدَةِ and to connect your heart to Allah Azza wa Jalla alone, 
these three advices is what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave to that noble companion. And I wanted to also share that hadith and that advice with you all. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.